Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to configure data logging using internal memory. The data logger is used to record the values of tags over the time. Let us see how to configure data logging using internal memory. Create a new project in FlexiSoft software as per hardware selection. Here I am using FP4070TN series HMI. Expand data logger from project information. Click on data logging. Group information is on screen. Here set the data logging information. Here select the number of groups for data logging as per the requirement. Here, select the logging device. Internal, SD card or USB stick, select internal. After memory is full following action to be taken as, stop logging or FIFO. Here selected stop logging. For more information about this refer FlexiSoft data logger help file. Here we can select logger memory size as per data logging requirement. We can also select sample number if memory size is not fixed. Select the group, group 1. Set group 1 information. For data logging, 5 different modes are available. We can choose one of these. Power up, start or stop time, key task bit task or event based if we select start or stop time mode logger stop time and start time must be filled over here we'll select power up task this is used to decide the time between two logs minimum time between two logs can be one second Here give the name for the data logging file. Here select the tags, for data logging. Click here for opening tags. Unclick on this checkbox. Here we can select system defined tag. After that click on OK. Or we can directly select system tags here. Press the control key from keypad and select the tags as per requirement. Here we'll use system defined RDC tags for data logging. Click on the add button. For removing any tag from this list, select that tag and click on the delete button. Click on view group data. Group 1 configuration window is on screen. These are the selected tags for the data logging. This is data type of these tags. Here select the data display format as per requirement. Click on OK button. Again click on this OK button. Data logging configuration is done message is on screen. Click on OK. Now, we have done with the data logging configuration. Expand the base screen. Select screen 1. Screen 1 opens up. From advanced objects. Select advanced bit button. Bit button properties on screen. From button properties, select task. Click here for opening task. Touch screen task list is on screen. Select task. In that select export data log CSV group. In select group. Select the group number. Click on the add button. 
After click add button selected tag is added into the press task. Click on OK button. In appearance, in front of on text, we can change the text of the button. We can also change the background color, text, button style. Now, from advanced objects select bitlamp. Bitlamp properties is on screen. In lamp properties select the tag for the button. Click here for opening tag. Select tag is on screen. In that select USB status. Click on the OK. Here we can change off and on text properties. Click on the multilingual text. This is used for writing text. Multilingual text properties on screen. Here for more understanding will give name to the button. That is USB status. We can change the font properties of that. Arrange the screen. From advanced objects select, historical trend. Adjust the size of the trend screen as per screen size. Historical trend properties is on screen, here, trend screen background color can be changed. Click here for opening style, select tabular. Click here for opening group settings. Group 1 configuration is on screen. These are the data logging tags. Click on the display tag checkbox for showing the data logging on screen. Here we can change the color of the display, here we can set the prefix value, for more information about this please refer data logging help file. Here we can change column width of the data logging screen. Here we can select the alignment, click on OK button. Data logging tags are added in this screen. Over here we can select time scale properties. It means start and stop time for data logging display on screen. Click here for opening. Start end time setting is on screen. Here we can select RDC or default tag. If default tag is selected and clicked on the set default tags. All default tags gets added for start and end time. Selecting RDC. Click on OK button. From project, select properties. Project configuration is on screen. In that select setting. From others, click on the erase data logger memory button. Click on OK button. Compile the project. Click on the download icon. Communication window is on screen. Here USB is used for downloading. Click on the application button. Click on the download button.
Now downloading is done close the screen. In this way we have completed data logging configuration using internal memory. For demonstration purpose we'll use VNC viewer software, you can directly check on the hardware. For more information about how to open VNC viewer screen please refer to FVNC server video. This RHMI screen dot data is logging is stared on it. Currently USB status is off. It means USB is not connected. Connect the USB. USB connected message is on screen. USB status is also on. Now click on the export data log button. File transferred successfully message is on screen. As CSV file is exported into the USB stick we can disconnect it. This is exported data logged Excel file. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, like and share. For more videos, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for updates.